So for those of you who don't know, you can basically download all your information from the internet these days. So all the information Google has on you, Facebook. So I thought, you know, why don't I do it and then share my lovely information with you lovely people on the internet. I thought I'd give this a go just because of how much information these companies actually do keep on people, whether they're using it for targeted ads, you know, knowing what you want to buy before you do, knowing more information about, you know, people than they know themselves and how they use that, you know, to make money. I did a little bit of research on Reddit before this video and the amount of stuff that people were saying about their information was quite shocking, to be honest. So whether you're just curious or interested in your privacy, have a look in the description. All the links are there. Also, I posted the article where I went a bit more in depth. All those links will take you straight to the pages where you can download your information from the sites that we list here. So let's jump into the computer. Let's have a look. So here we are on Google Takeout. This is basically a service which allows you to pick from all of Google's services and uh, apps that they have and uh, select the ones you want the data on and uh, not. So I've deselected some here that I don't want. So I've uh, deselected stuff like business, uh, my Gmail, uh, Google Drive, because I don't want all that information because that's quite a lot of information. Um, so you can just go through, you select them, and then you uh, do your preferences here. So um, the size of file you want, um, how frequently you want the files, and what format they're in. You can also go in here and select the file size that they send you at one up to about 10 gigabytes. And then you press confirm, then they'll send you an email when your data is ready. You can also do the same thing for Facebook. So if you go into your Facebook settings, go to privacy and then uh, select the information. So I've done all my data here, send it as HTML, high quality. And then it says yeah, your request has been sent. We'll send that over shortly. You can do that for other services as well. You can do it for um, LinkedIn. Uh, Snapchat and Amazon, which are some of the ones I went with. We'll just wait for our data to come back now and then we'll uh, have a look. So let's go into our Facebook folder. Let's have a look. About you, ads and business, apps and websites, comments, events, Facebook gaming. I don't think there'll be anything on there. I don't know who games on Facebook. Friends, groups, locations. I bet that's great. Location history, primary location. Messages. Every message I've ever sent my inbox. That's like probably everyone I've ever spoke to. Stickers used. I don't know why they'd want to ever save that. These are all my past cover photos. That's horrendous. Um, Instagram photos. What's this? Ah, oh, it's my baby. Search history. Whew, do we want to have a look at that? About you. Face recognition. That's my face. I'm assuming. So this is a string of what my face looks like, I would imagine. Ads and businesses, ad interests. See, here we go. Apparently I'm interested in, in the bathing ape. Love hype beast stuff, capsule extra, no radio station. Um, gold, apparently I'm interested in gold. Grant Cardone, a hero quest role-playing game. I've never heard of that in my life. iOS, Linux, programming language. It's location, that's what I was interested in. Location history. Alex was in Newport, Alex was in Newport, Alex was in Cambran, Alex was in, wow, Wolverhampton, Wadsall, uh, I'm just trekking the world here, aren't I? Which tells me every time and the exact, oh my days. So let's find out where this is. Take one of these, pop it into Google, so that is, I have no idea where this is. Wolverhampton, I was on that day. They basically know where I was every, oh my gosh, well that's every minute, that's 4.05. 4.06, 4.30, 4 Wow. Every minute of the day. So I don't, if anyone actually knows what they do with all the information, like why, why would they need to know where you are every minute? What benefit does that have to the company? If anyone knows, leave a comment down in below. So this is the main page for Facebook. So you download your data and they give you a HTML link, which is nice. Um, so that has all your information there, so you can see all your posts, all your photos, all your video, all your comments, all your stories, all your followers, all your messages, groups, profile information, pages, marketplace, basically everything that is in one convenient location. Lovely. So I went to the Google one and uh, they sent me the request back. You get this back. I split mine into two because I knew the Google photos would be like a massive one because I save all my photos of Google Photos. I thought, you know, let's split that off from the other one. I also didn't do my Google Drive because I don't need to know what's already in my Google Drive. I already know that stuff. So this is ridiculous. Literally all the photos I've ever taken since like 2009, I think, is 78 gigabytes. 
yeah which is like loads my like computer is like a hundred and something so i'm never gonna be able to download all that and then the other information they have on us so nine of my photos like every photo i've ever taken 70 gig which is like thousands thousands of photos then every all the other products they got 80 gigs almost 81 gigs so literally you get it all in the two gigabyte files then and like 41 two gigabyte files so i'll just download a few of them and we'll have a look through because there's no chance i'm going to download all of these I didn't download them all because I don't literally have that much inf space on my computer to download all these things. But that looks like one of my YouTube videos, the first one. So they obviously keep all your YouTube videos on file. Just some information about my old phones, I think. Let's see if I, see if it has anything on my blogger. Like yeah, there you go, Fred Vortex. Good old. Ah. Uh, Dot and what is it? Followers? No one probably follows me. Profile. Profile.cv. Oh. Okay, just open Excel. That's apparently that's all the information. They've got my followers, display name, and no one follows me. Uh, Google Fit. Let's see if there's anything on here. Activities, daily, gra whoa. What is this? 2015. I was doing this workouts. I don't think I was working out at midnight. Oh, this is how many calories I've been in the day. 2015, how long ago was that? Seven years ago. Great, let's see what they got me in 2020 then. A little bit more interest. We got the distance this time. These look like bike rides. No, walks. Every exercise I've ever done in the past eight years. Great. YouTube and YouTube music, my history, my search history on YouTube, Photoshop glow effect around person, making thumbnails in the cover, building computer clusters, everything I've ever searched on Google, I mean on YouTube, fun, my watch history, a little file there just showing you everything I watch, my comments, my live chat messages, what have I ever said on live chat then, apparently only said a few things, floor gang, there you go, drop it, hand up, F F is he in the living room? Download RAM, smiley face, live face, LPT, low mode F. The most interesting thing I've ever ever seen. And then playlists, subscriptions, videos. Are these my videos? Yeah, these are all my videos. Okay, so let's go on maps then. Added dishes, products, what? Electrical vehicle settings. Location history. Dot oh, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. Everywhere I've ever been. April 2014. Do you see where we are? We were walking. It was highly confident that we were walking. This isn't, very, this isn't as clear as the Facebook one. Maybe for good reason. Because maybe you don't want to know where you were every day of every month of every year since you had a Google phone. So, wow, it tells you if you're walking, cycling, running, in a car, flying, that is scary. Google Photos 2013, a Tumblr GIF, wow, this is a lot of data, this is like all the photos. My brother, cutting his hair, they know basically where every photo was taken, when it was taken, by what device it was taken by, probably. Daily summaries, this is the same thing again. Every time I've ever walked outside since 2015, you can tell it's not a lot of times. Let's have a look at Snapchat then for a second. I like this. And then they show you your data in a nice, concise way. So you want to add me on Snapchat? Here we go. Look, there's my Snapchat. My model of iPhone. Device history. I had an iPhone 10.5 and an iPhone 7.1, whatever they mean. So yeah, wow. So you can see my login history. Then you can see everyone I've snapchatted in... That's not very long though. I thought that would be like... I thought there would be more information on that. No people have snapchat. This is snapchats from... And then that's the group chat. Wow. You can see I get a lot of uh, snapchats from Scooby Dogs. Geography snaps... Snaps sent. 17. I don't think, I don't think that's right. <laughs> Discovered snaps viewed. 
chats sent. A hundred. This doesn't seem very right. Doesn't, doesn't seem very right. Doesn't seem right. Snaps viewed six thousand. Ads you're interested with. This is what we want to see. Okay, what is a Wasium Media Ltd? I don't know. Warner Brothers. That's friend. A friend of mine. I don't. I actually don't know what half this stuff is. Apparently, I'm interested in Tinder. I don't think so. Ubisoft Mobile Games. PLR Worldwide Sales Limited. Apple. Interested categories. Superhero film fan. Clubbers and party people. Business news watcher. Meme watchers. Everyone loves a good meme. Comedy fans. Home decoration. So yeah, this snapshot information. This is everything I'm interested in. Techies, gadgets and fans. Or gadget fans. Um, invest in entrepreneur. Film. Urban and hip hop. It's, it's doing okay so far. Beauty mavens. I'm going to go with no on that one. Um, sneaker heads. There we go, yeah. Talk show fans. Nope. Do it yourselfers. I do like a bit of a do it yourself, bit of DIY. Um, what else? This that's, That was the biggest one so far. Like Instagram and Facebook, they weren't even that big. Wow. That's a lot of it. I suppose they do make all their money from show people ads. So like having a wide range of what is cord cutters. I literally have no idea. Web in interactions, web interactions. This includes websites that you have visited. So this is websites that are visited through Snapchat, I'm guessing. Spotify, Snapchat, Boohoo, Course Heroes, Hey You, Huel. So yeah, you can see that they have a very detailed list of like everything that you are interested in. Location history. Wow. Oh my days. These aren't even in order. Areas you may have visited in the last two years. Businesses and public places you have visited. Apparently I've only visited Subway. Okay, so they got 2020. Wow, so is that whole list? That whole list is like a few months. No, a few days. How? Oh my days. This is annoying that this isn't in order. I don't understand. 17, all that information is in like the past week. Oh my God. So some of this information is missing and not in the right order. So as you can see, these companies have a ridiculous amount of information. I don't know what they would do with half of it. I don't know why all of them seem to have location history, but I don't know what they would do with that information. They're not, because they can't really target you to go to places. But yeah, all of them had a lot of location history. A lot of them had a lot of information on all the other apps you're using. So Google had like basically every picture I've ever taken since 2015, where it was taken, what it was taken on. Snapchat had like my previous devices, who I've ever messaged. All of them all kept search history, so then they can relate them back to things. All of, like the messages you've ever sent, all of them just all saved on the site so they can trace it back, target ads. All of them had like a list. So like basically from one to 10 on everything you're interested in, everything you've ever searched, everything you've ever probably interacted with, so they can build a portfolio then just to target ads towards you and um, basically make money off you. So if you did find this interesting, the links are all in the description and the article is also there as well. So if you really want to do next, you can watch this video. You can hit the like button, subscribe if you uh, are interested and check out the channel because we do other videos like this and um, other interesting uh, tech topics and projects that you can follow along with. So um, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.